Make sure the mic is on. Mic's on. Red dot. Man, I don't even know how to do this stuff anymore. Whew. Here we go. What's up YouTube, Teddy Westside here for another video and today I wanted to fill you guys in on where I've been, what's been going on with the car and I also did a Q&A on Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram you definitely should. Instagram name will be right here if I remember how to do that still uh, but it's just Teddy Westside 412 just like the YouTube name. Uh, keep it short and simple for everybody. The first things first let's get into where the hell have I been. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed it's been well, I posted last time in July, so it's been quite a while since my last uh, upload. And there's kind of a decent reasoning for it. Uh, it didn't make me happy, but I had a little bit of an incident. I ended up breaking my big toe, my right foot, so badly that it required pins and surgery. So that was fun. I was on crutches for like six or eight weeks. I can't remember anymore. I try to block all of that out because it sucked. But yeah, that was like the biggest reason as to why I haven't posted a video in a while. Just because, you know, when you're on crutches, A, you can't hold up a camera. B, you can't even walk or do anything. So the content would have been awful. So I definitely wasn't going to waste both my time and your time with uh, something like that. I missed the end of the car season because I was hurt. I didn't get to any of the shows that were going on because of it. Uh, you know, my car got neglected. I haven't been able to do really much of anything with that for quite a while. So it was just a time that I wasn't really happy with and I'm glad that it's finally over and I'm starting to turn that corner to bigger and better things. Another thing that I wanted to update you guys on is some of the changes that have been done to the car since the last video. I have made three changes total. They're all very subtle. Uh, but one big one I will show you right now. So as you might be able to tell from behind me, I got new taillights for the car. I went with the BEC or EDS uh, facelift taillights. You can get those on bmptuning.com. But yeah, I like them. I think they look way better than just like the regular LED taillights that a lot of the Mark 7 owners get. I wanted to be a little bit different and get something that not everybody has in the world. Uh, when I did buy these, I only saw one other person. I didn't film a video, but the install is very, very simple. Uh, comment down below if you want me to kind of walk over what you go through and I can teach you guys you know how simple it really is it's just uh, kind of tedious more than anything because running the lines or running the wires is is a little bit cumbersome one thing i do want to do in this video though is i want to show you my favorite part about the taillights and that's this sequential turn signals uh yeah that's one thing that i've become kind of a butt hurt for and i'm really enjoying them i uh, also upgraded the turn signals on the mirrors i'm not going to show you that they literally do this little thing too um, and I did black mirror caps now instead of the white ones that came with the car. Overall, I love the look. I think it's, you know, very, very subtle, but it, it did make a big change. Now all I need to do is get the roof wrapped in gloss black, and I think that'll really, really look good. Sorry, I had to turn those off. They were bothering me. Now that I've updated you guys on where I've been and a little bit of the changes that I've done to the car off camera, I wanted to get into the Q&A that I did on Instagram. Again, go follow me on Instagram if you want to participate in the next one first question is from rams underscore 62 which i'll put your names on here uh first question he had was any more mods coming for the gti and that is a course i'm not done the only issue is money right now money and time uh i don't make enough money in the sh little amount of time as i would like so it just you know it was a waiting game essentially and unfortunately for you guys and me you know i wish i had the money to you know just ball out get it all done and make a build series in like a month or so but that's just not the reality especially for someone like me who doesn't make any money off of youtube and it comes out of his own pocket immediate plans that i have i want to do intercooler protune and then start doing more of the outside uh headlights might be purchased in between there just because i hate the headlights so if i find a good deal and have the money i'm just gonna do it next question is from the same person that rams guy 62 he said, when are you going to give the GTI some low and when are you going to meet up with Russ again? So first part of that question, GTI some low. <sighs> Man, I wish I could have done it yesterday. I was this close to buying springs, lowering springs for the car. I haven't done it because I kind of have mixed feelings. A lot of people are like, oh, just get coilovers. It's a little bit more money, but way better ride quality. But my issue is, is I don't want to spend over $1,000 on coilovers when my ultimate goal is air ride. I really want to get this car on air but air is very, very expensive. And I knew that going into it, that's why I haven't done anything to get the car low. I hate the monster truck height, 
believe me, I want to get rid of it just as much as you do. But again, I want to do it the right way. I don't really feel like it's smart for me to waste my money on coils and then go into the air. And my thing with the springs is, is I also have a really hard time getting into my driveway because my driveway is kind of lifted up from the, the street level. And I live in an older town where that's how a lot of like the parking lots are. You either go up a steeper curb, essentially, it's not nice and smooth, that's for sure. And then you have that to deal with or you have like a real steep hill as soon as you get in. So I don't want to spend the money on coils or springs and then like end up messing up my front bumper because that's going to cost a lot more money and take even more time for me to get the air. Uh, the other part of that question, when are you going to meet up with Russ again? I don't know, Russ has to text me. Russ, if you're watching this, I'd love to come see the new shop. Next question I'm going to answer here comes from Alan Yoho, which is a fellow Mark 7 YouTuber. So if you don't follow him, you should. Alan asks, when are we grabbing drinks and me beating that APR stage 2? Drinks are going to happen the next time I'm in Columbus or you are in Pittsburgh. Funny story, actually, Alan and I were, th were within of 10 minutes of each other's houses, but like at the same time. So I was 10 minutes away from his house, but he was 10 minutes away from my house at the same time, so we couldn't meet up. Kind of a bummer. And when are you going to beat that APR? Pfft, come on, you're Unitronic. You ain't got this. Pow. Oh! Another question I'm going to answer is from Sam. I'm going to put your Instagram because I'm going to butcher your last name. Car needs low still. Where it at? Uh, I, I just got into that. I really want air. It's just way too expensive. I don't have the money for that. Uh, another question comes from Hunter. He asks, what is your plan for the channel? Be more of a YouTuber, a DIYer for GTIs or both? Uh, that's a really good question because honestly, I don't really know. I would love to film more, but the issue is, is you guys honestly only care about content that involves the GTI, involves me spending money, and involves me teaching you guys how to do something, which I really don't mind. That was the main reason why I started YouTubing, was to show you guys how awesome this platform is, how easy it is for you guys to do the work, and how much you can learn from it. But I would like to film more videos, maybe of me just talking, like the Teddy Talks that I did the one video on, uh, or just going out with people. But the issue with that is, is when I go to car shows or cars and coffee or meet up with people, I really like to, you know, live that experience. And I don't really feel like you could live that whole experience the same way through a camera as you can just like being there yourself. So I really have a hard time breaking the camera out and filming stuff because I kind of just want to take it all in myself. It stinks because there are times where I wish I had a video to look back on, even if it's not for YouTube, just for me to, you know, like relive that memory. Like I said, at the same time, I don't really get a lot of views on that stuff, so it makes it really hard for me to even want to go through the process of, you know, taking the time out of my day to film, taking time out of my day to edit, and then uploading and all that stuff. Uh, so if I get more con or if I get more views on stuff like this where I'm just sitting in front of the camera talking, then maybe I will make, you know, more lifestyle videos or things like that. But comment down below what you guys want to see. Like I. This is easy for me to just sit down in the garage and talk in front of my car. I can do this pretty much any day of the week. It's just, is this what you guys want to see or not is the big question. Um, another question I have is, what do you find most challenging about staying consistent with making content? And that was posted by a friend of mine, uh, Jake, which I'll put your Instagram up here. And the thing that I find most challenging about staying consistent with making content is getting into the mood. Like I just talked about a little bit before, I'm not always in the mood to film because I kind of just want to experience the event myself. Like for instance, when Russ and I went to the drag racing, I had a great time and I'm glad that I did film, but at the same time, I felt that I watched more of the races through my camera lens than I actually did in person. Uh, I wasn't really living that day that well. So again, that, that's like my biggest struggle is what to film, why, why is it like worth filming? Because if it doesn't add value to, you know, my life or if I don't think it's going to add value to someone else's life, I really just don't feel like filming it. And that's really a bad habit to be in, especially if you're a small YouTuber. I mean, you consistently just need to pump out content if you want to, you know, grow and do anything like that. So, um, I believe that's all the questions that I have. I know Alan asked another one that's not in here. Uh, he was asking the future plans for the car. And again, I, I went into that a little bit, I believe, but if not, I'll just say it again. I, I really want to finish the performance aspect of the car. I want to get the intercooler and I want to get a ProTune. Uh, and then once that's done, I'm going to try to save the money and do the exterior stuff. Like I, I do know the front splitter I want, the rear diffuser I want, the wing I want, uh, what I want to do to the roof. You know, I know what wheels I want. I know all that stuff. So 
it's just a matter of the money and once I get the money you guys will see it because I definitely will film everything that I do on the car to show you guys that you guys can do it too. So just to wrap up this video, I wanna thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, I hit a huge milestone this morning, which is another reason why I kinda of wanted to come out here and film this video. We hit 100,000 views on my channel since I started YouTubing, which I think is absolutely insane, especially because one year ago to this date, I didn't have 10,000 views, I didn't have 100 subscribers, and now a year later, I have almost 700 subs, which Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Please subscribe more, you know, share it with your friends. And now I have over 100,000 views, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for watching everything. I really hope that you guys learned something or I was able to save you guys a little bit of money by uh, teaching you how to do something yourself. That really is why I do this. Uh, even though I haven't posted a video in a few months, I have been getting questions from people on Instagram like, hey, I have a question, how do you do this? How do you do that? What do you suggest for this? And I'm, I'm always there to answer. I, I really wanna help out the community in any way that I can. So feel free to reach out to me, DM me on Instagram, and I'll be happy to answer your question. I think that's gonna be all for me today. I'm sorry guys, it's winter time. I do have a part, I have a dog bone mount that I wanna install in the car. It's just way too cold for me to do it in my driveway. I don't have a big garage as you can see in order for me to do it here. But I do know somebody that does, so Russ, Call me, let's work. He doesn't do that, so. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. I wanna wish you all a happy holidays this year. Have a safe, happy new year, and we will definitely see you guys in 2019. I do wanna keep filming, I wanna keep going, and I definitely wanna hit the 1K. That'll be a huge milestone for us all to celebrate next year. So, everyone enjoy yourselves, and peace out. We'll see you in the next video.